Good morning, guys. I just thought while I was doing my makeup for the day that I would kind of give you guys a rundown of what we are going to be doing in today's video. So we're going to be doing, I haven't really done anything like this before, but we're going to do like a daily vlog, but make it fall specific, like a fall day in the life vlog type of deal. I wish I was doing more fallish things today, but I am sick and so is my husband. So we don't really want to go anywhere. Like there's this bookstore slash like coffee shop bakery like 20 minutes away from me that's kind of new and I have yet to go there which is crazy and I really wanted to go there but unfortunately I just don't think we should really be going places when we're sick so we're not going to do that but still we are going to be reading of course um and specifically some fall books because I am reading a fall book on my kindle right now and then I think because I finished my physical book that I was reading like two days ago I think I want to start a new physical book because sometimes if I'm reading a book on my kindle I also like to read a physical book and like read the physical book more during the day and the kindle book more at night or just whatever I'm feeling you know there's options so I think we're gonna be starting a new fallish physical book today and then some non-fallish things I want to update my reading journal I want to make November's monthly spread because we're almost there and I also want to fill out a couple of the stats for October I know we're not done yet so can't fill out all of them but at least mark off the books that I have read from my TBR for the month and stuff like that and then what else I think we're gonna go get like a coffee like a fallish coffee from Starbucks and we don't have to go in because of the drive through then I also bought ingredients to make ghost white chocolate covered strawberries for a little sweet treat tonight so I think we'll make those. I just think that would be fun for this video. So I think that's pretty much it. Um, I know tonight, pretty much every weekend tonight, me and my husband watch like a movie, whether that's Harry Potter, because we are in the middle of rewatching those. We started the first Deathly Hollows last night, so we might continue that or watch a different Halloween movie. So that is the plan for today. I would say that a fun activity we could do today too is carve pumpkins or I guess we could paint pumpkins but I don't have the supplies for that. But carving pumpkins, we would have to keep the pumpkins inside because we have deer that would eat them and they already did because our roommate carved two pumpkins like two weeks ago and the next morning they were on the lawn destroyed by deer. So not gonna be doing that because they would just get destroyed right away, which is so sad, but I never painted a pumpkin before. I'm very not artistic, so I don't know how that would go. I would probably, mine would probably look like crap, but it would probably be fun. And then we could even have them inside because they wouldn't be like carved open and so they would stay good longer, you know what I'm saying? But if you carve it, you can't really have it inside because I don't know. It would like attract bugs probably i don't know i can't believe it's already almost november i'm sad because there's so many books that i wanted to read for fall and we're still in fall don't get me wrong but we're like over halfway through i would say i don't know where the time went but how am i supposed to read all of my fall books <laughs> in a month because I haven't read very many of them and I didn't do super good I don't think on my October TBR and again we're still in October but I probably realistically will read maybe one or two more books this month I'll probably finish my Kindle book because I'm like halfway through over halfway and then I don't know if I'm gonna finish the physical book that I start today I guess it depends on how quickly I finish my Kindle book because then I can really focus on my physical book. The Kindle book I'm reading is the second book in the Truly Devious series by Maureen Johnson. It's called The Vanishing Stare. I read the first Truly Devious book last fall and I really liked it. I rated it like 4.5 stars and I just thought it was so fun and quick and I liked the mystery. I just didn't get around to finishing the series last fall and there's three books in the main trilogy and they're on Kindle Unlimited. So yeah, I'm reading that and I'm like 60% of the way through. All right, now I need to figure out what I want to do with my hair because I need to wash it probably. But I'm a nighttime hair washer, so I'm not going to do that right now. 
Oh, and something I probably won't be filming that I'm going to be doing today is watching football. It's Sunday today, so we have a lot of Sunday football on. And my team plays today, the 49ers. But it's kind of nice because with the games I don't really care about, I can just sit and read my book while my husband's watching it. And it is a little bit distracting for me, unfortunately, but usually I can still read. Maybe just a little bit slower than normal. So yeah, we're going to be doing that too. So as you guys just saw, I updated my reading journal, just a quick little uh, walkthrough of it. I updated my bookshelf page with the books that I've read so far in October. I think I had three books to add to this page and we're getting close to being out of books. So I'm gonna have to draw more, but that's a good sign because that means I'm going to pass my reading goal for 2024, which I've kind of known for a while that I probably will because I've been ahead for a while. So that's always good. And then, I had one book to highlight for my physical TBR page that I've read. That was The One by John Mars. You know, as you can see, not doing so good. Then the only thing I had to update on in these two pages were I had one book from my hopefuls page that I read, which again was The One by John Mars. Then again, I think I had three books to add to my 2024 reads page. Drag from by Bram Stoker, The One by John Mars, and Frankenstein by Mary Shelley. I've read 54 books so far this year. I did this off camera, but this is just all of the days I've read so far in October. Still have yet to have a read every day in a month, month this year. We've been close. We've had one missed day, two missed days a couple times, but that's okay. That's just like a little mini goal of mine. Then nothing to add to my A to Z reading challenge page, unfortunately. You'd think I would have read an A book. I don't know how that's literally possible that I have it, but I have it. Also, I'm reading The Vanishing Stare right now, like I told you guys, so that'll be a V. So yay, I'm almost done with that book. And again, had a couple little boxes to fill out for my 2024 reading tracker. I had quite a bit to update on my series tracker as far as like new series I've started. So, you know, wish they they were continuing a series or finishing a series but no i started the nevermore series last month and i just hadn't written it yet i also finished heartless hunter first book in the crimson moth duology last month and i didn't add that yet and then the first book in the gilded duology i read this month i added some books that i read to my genre tracker fantasy some horror and a thriller which is nice because up to that point, I'd only read three thrillers all year, which is crazy. And then so far in October, I've read five books. I don't think I had anything to add to this. I need to print out a lot of book covers. However, my printer's being dumb and isn't printing color, even though it says it has color ink. And I really don't want to buy ink because it's like $50. So I might just start printing my book covers as staples and just waiting like a couple months in between so that I'm not like going to staples every month to print out like five book covers. I don't know. They probably look at me weird, but who cares? <laughs> 
And then I think that brings us to, oh wait, one more. I added a book to my new books page because I did in fact receive Spectacular by Stephanie Garber the other day. I'm so excited to read that. And then let me skip to my October slash November spreads. Um, I haven't done too much on this spread yet just because again, we're not done with the month, but the books I read so far, out of my TBR slash books on my radar kind of hopefuls. I read Dracula Frankenstein, I'm reading The Vanishing Stare, and then The One and The Unhoneymooners. I finished already. The book I want to start physically soon is on here, but we'll see if I finish it. And then that brings me to November, which you saw. So far, this is what I have. I haven't decorated it at all or anything yet, but we just have my title. And then this is where I'm gonna put my book covers, all my stats, and then the rest of my TBR, which I'm actually going to film that today, I think. Today or tomorrow. So we will see the other books that are going to be on my November TBR. But I'm gonna have my TBR jar pick again, I think, because I haven't done that in like three months and I miss it so that'll be fun we'll see what goes on my November TBR so yeah that is it for my reading journal let me go grab the book that I think I'm gonna start today and show you guys what it is the book I think I'm gonna start today that I really wanted to read in October specifically around Halloween which we have five days until, no, four days until Halloween. So perfect, and that is The Wicked Deep by Shay Earnshaw. It's also pretty short, actually. It's only 300 pages, and if you can kind of see, I feel like the words are pretty big. So honestly, I might be able to finish this as well as The Vanishing Stare in October, which would be amazing, but I will read you guys the summary. Welcome to the cursed town of Sparrow. Two centuries ago, three sisters were sentenced to death for witchery. Stones were tied to their ankles and they were drowned in the deep waters surrounding the town. Now for a brief time each summer, the sisters return, stealing the bodies of three troubled girls so that they may seek their revenge, luring boys into Sparrow's Harbor and pulling them under. Like many locals, 17-year-old Penny Talbot has accepted the fate of the town. But this year, on the eve of the sisters' return, a boy named Bo Carter arrives, unaware of the danger he has just stumbled into. Mistrust and lies spread quickly through the salty, rain-soaked streets. The townspeople will turn against one another. Penny and Bo will suspect the other of hiding secrets, and death will come swiftly to those who cannot resist the call of the sisters. But only Penny sees what others cannot, and she will be forced to choose. Save Bo or save herself. Ooh, the only thing that's not like Halloween-ish is the fact that it takes place in the summer. I feel like they could have totally had it be the witches return every year on Halloween, but what do I know? That's okay. I feel like it still will be a good fall read because of like the content and stuff, but yeah, I'm excited. I think I'm going to go start this right now. Also, earlier, instead of going to get coffee from Starbucks, we decided to make our own and then we were going to get Starbucks a little bit later in the day and it's now, what time is it? 2.40. So I need my coffee. Wait, that is so funny because I literally am filming my video right now and I was like, earlier we decided to just make coffee, but we were going to get coffee later and it's now 2 40 and so I need my coffee. I literally just said that 30 seconds ago. That's so funny. Speaking of which, I'm going to go get our coffees and I'll be back.
and I just finished making the white chocolate covered ghosts strawberry ghosts they're super cute if I do say so myself they're in the fridge I just ate so we'll probably have some while we're watching a movie tonight but I wanted to update you guys on my books I'm still reading my kindle book I was honestly like will I finish it today and I honestly probably will read a little bit more before we're ready to watch a movie so let me tell you where I am in truly not truly devious the second book in that series the vanishing stare I am 80% of the way through on page 300 exactly wow out of 373 so honestly not that much left and it reads really fast I'll probably get to like 85% maybe tonight maybe even 90 we'll see neither of us work tomorrow because we have Mondays off so that's nice uh, we can stay up and to give you guys a little bit of a snippet as to what this book is about well I guess the series because I don't want to give spoilers about this book but it is about this school the Ellingham Academy and the main character Stevie is like a crime junkie basically like she wants to be a detective when she's older and she is just obsessed with true crime specifically one case regarding the Ellingham Academy years and years ago at the Ellingham Academy there was a kidnapping and a murder and this like creepy letter left by someone claiming to be truly devious about the murder disappearance and stuff and Stevie gets accepted into Ellingham Academy based on like her kind of skills as a not a detective obviously because she's like 17 but she wrote a paper to try and get accepted and she did and it's really exclusive and hard to get into and the only students that are accepted have like some sort of talent in some sort of field like writing or acting and that's pretty much the gist of it without giving anything away oh and also while Stevie is at Ellingham Academy also a murder happens so she's also kind of trying to figure out that as well as the old case from years before I will say that I think I like the first one better so far and then as far as the Wicked Deep the book that I started today I am not super far in but I kind of wanted to focus on the vanishing stare just because I'm almost done with that one but I am on page 46 chapter 4 of this one I know I kind of already explained what it's about based on the back and I'm only 46 pages in so not much else has happened but the main character what's her name Penny just met the boy Bo who arrived into town looking for a job and he has no idea about like the curse and the witches that died centuries ago and how they come back every summer and all that stuff but yeah those are the updates on the books I'm reading so I think the plan for the rest of the day like I said is to read a little bit more of the vanishing stare probably kind of get ready for bed not even for bed but just for the evening you know take my makeup off whatever watch a movie and eat chocolate covered strawberries and just relax <laughs> Yeah, it's true. 